Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 101 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you could fake putting on eye makeup on your model using Lightroom. Now, we're going to use this image here, and we're going to put some eyeshadow on and some eyeliner on. And I'm going to say in advance, I'm probably not going to do that great of a job. I never in my life put on makeup in real life, so... I'm going to do the best I can. I'm sure those of you that are more familiar with how makeup is applied will do a much better job than I will. But we'll start here. We're going to zoom in so I could get a look at our eyes and we're going to get a brush tool. Now we're going to get reset the brush tool by double clicking on the word effect. It's just going to reset the sliders. So I'm going to do the eyeshadow first. So I'm going to click down here where it says color. We have this little rectangle and I'm going to pick a very obnoxious color right now right here so at first it's gonna look ridiculous but you'll see what I do uh, to it as we go I just wanna make it look very obvious what I'm doing uh, I'm gonna bring exposure down quite a bit at first we'll readjust that later I'd like feathering between 50 and 70 around there's fine and flow and density all the way off and auto mask is not checked now, you're going to want a brush that is going to be just able to fit on her eyelids. So we're going to brush it in like this. Now, again, I said that this will look ridiculous. So expect that. Now we'll come in here like that. We'll come over here like this. of a smaller brush in here and I don't like how it ended there so I'm gonna erase a little part of this so I'm just gonna hold the alt or option key it's alt if you have a PC option if you have a Mac and I get my little eraser tool now and kind of erase that a little bit like that okay so we have some really hideous uh, eyeshadow on our eyes now what I like to do here is zoom back out so I'm going to click fit up here in the back or the top left hand panel of the develop module and then what I'm going to do first is I'm going to bring exposure down to make it look a little better maybe around 0.5 or so then I'm going to go back to our color square right here and click on there again and you see the slider right here it's at 99 percent I'm just going to bring that down as well I'll bring that more towards maybe 54 percent so that doesn't look too bad so there's some eye shadow on our models eyes now we're gonna put some liner on our eyes so we're going to get a new brush double click on new we're gonna go down here where it says color again we're gonna open that up but we don't want any color for the eyeliner so we're gonna take that all the way down to zero so we're we got uh, no color being applied to the second brush we're going to have exposure down quite a bit for this and I'm going to zoom in at one to one and this one is a little more difficult especially for me using my mouse I wish I had my um, my tablet here I do a much better job I think so I'm going to start with this eye and we're just going to come in here and we're just going to again this probably won't look that great at first but Bear with us and we'll see if we could make it look a little better. Oops, I actually moved it. Didn't want to move it. And we'll go up over here, do this eye. Like this. It's here. Like that. And, of course, now it looks really stupid, doesn't it? So, we're going to zoom back out by clicking Fit. We're going to come back over here to Exposure, and we're going to bring this down, 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 down. To maybe... right about to 0.3, maybe. And then you could come back and readjust if you want. If you think your eyeshadow is still too dark, you could click on that button. We could come back to our exposure slider for that and bring that down a little bit. 
and click on the eyeliner one again and we could readjust that if we think it needs it but I'm gonna leave it at that so that's how you quickly could kinda of fake eye makeup on a model there's before there's after there's before and there's after and there they are side by side so that's it for this episode Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.